Hey, Coach Gaz here, all or nothing. So I recently had a, um, a friend, a contact, who they stopped, uh, they stopped working on a certain aspect that would bring huge benefit to their life because they couldn't commit everything they had to it. And I'm, I'm not talking about financial investment, I'm talking about time. And um, if you look at the previous video, I talked about people having no time but they felt that if they couldn't give everything to it, then they would do nothing. And being a reformed all or nothinger, uh, and having come out the other side of that, and having worked with and helped other people and other professionals succeed by getting past that all or nothing mindset, um, I gotta tell you, like it's so much better working on a continuum, on a sliding scale. Because imagine this, if you're, if we're talking about working out, right, or exercise, and you go, right, if I can't do seven days of workouts, I'm gonna do no workouts. Now how does that even make sense? If you are not doing any workouts, then you're actually moving in the opposite direction, because maintenance is a myth. So you're not even maintaining, you're slowly sliding down that scale. And sometimes people slowly slide down that scale and they start to pick up speed and it becomes a rapid decline. But if you are doing all or nothing, not only are you giving yourself no in between, but when you do all, well, part of the secret to performance is, is recovery. Like if you want to perform better, you have to recover. You, you have to recover between efforts. So people will go nothing, 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 nothing. They'll decline to a certain point. They'll get frustrated. They'll get angry. They'll get upset. They'll go, I need to change. It's going to change my entire life. They'll go all, 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 all. They'll get completely fatigued, completely worn out, they'll break down and because they're doing too much now and there's no lead up, there's no prep, there's no in between and then they will get injured and frustrated and then they will stop because it's all or nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. And the cycle and the feedback and the loop continues. And it's the same for business. If you say that I can't do any, uh, everything that I wanna do in business, so therefore I'm going to do nothing, what do you think would happen to your business? And if you tried to do it all in your business and as a small business, you know, it's a small company, it's a small business, as a small business owner, I've, I've got to fight that, you know, that desire to try and do everything because I know that it's just not possible. It's just not possible. There is a hundred things to do and then there's a hundred things more, more things to do after that. But if I start to implement stuff, stuff bit by bit and I work on a continuum and I'm accepting of the days where I can't work on, on my business and I ensure that I prioritize it for a day to come, then I'm, I'm going to be moving along that scale. And we are. We're, we're growing. We're, we're building our community. We're getting stronger as a business. And it's not because we're trying to do everything. It's because we're doing something. Most of the time, consistently, we're doing something for the business. And that will continue. And that will gather momentum. And that will continue to see us grow. Coach Gaz with the Juggernaut Thought. If you want to reform from being an all or nothinger, maybe drop us a line. Cheers.